Frolic, frolic, merrily, merrily. Little does this meerkat suspect, as he frolics merrily through the jungle, that he's being pursued by a ferocious tiger, wily master of camouflage. Frolic, 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 merrily, frolic, frolic. Aha! Oh, hello, zebra. Wait a minute. <laughs> a door, you know. Yeah, George had a good day at work. Just saved a meerkat from a tiger. Good lunch, too. Really enjoyed tube of candy. Tube of what? Did I leave my new marshmallow lip balm here last night? George, that's great how you saved the meerkat, but don't you think these smaller animals depend on you a little too much? Oh, give George one example. <laughs> What? Saves him two hours of gnawing. George, meet me at Howie's. Signed, a hungry predator. Come alone. I know your whole save the tiny animals thing is your thing. But us big guys are tired of getting pounded just for doing our thing. Maybe big guys should be nicer to small guys. Talk to them. Bunnies can be more than lunch, you know. Hey, we gotta eat. Hmm, okay. George is thinking. Another smoothie, Howie. This is gonna take a while. We are here to teach you to stand up for yourselves using self-defense techniques. Do you think George will be mad that we're doing this? Oh, of course not. Think how much work we're saving him by teaching these guys to take care of themselves. Let's get things started. We need a volunteer. You, chameleon. Uh. It's time to take back the jungle. The days of relying on George are over. Hi! Think about it. No more George using you as a punch balloon. No more cringing when you hear a swinging vine. All we gotta do is lay off the little guys and eat peas instead. What is that? Fruits and vegetables. They're high in vitamins, and the best part, they don't run away from you. Yes, <laughs> <laughs> no more getting beaten up by George. <sighs> you know what the greatest feeling in the world is? Finding a three-for-one bathing suit sale no one knows about and getting all the best stuff before your friends get there? I was gonna say helping the small and defenseless. Oh. I'm just worried that George will be mad that we didn't think he could fix the problem himself. All we did was give a few critters some self-esteem lessons. That's just helping a little. Yeah, right. He probably won't even notice. Okay. But if there was a three-for-one sale, you would tell me, right? Huh? Huh? Take that! <laughs> I always my fuzzy foot. Want me to kiss it and make it better? Uh, time to put those glasses to work. Hey, it worked. He didn't need us. <laughs> Come back. I just want to offer you some homemade yam fries. 
I'd better get George. Oh, I sing of hogs and power. With praise they should be showered. Not dipped in egg and flour. And hungrily devoured. What just happened? The scary spider of Spider Cave is spinning silk scarves. The vampire bats are drinking herbal tea. All the animals who are supposed to be scary are acting wimpy. Yep, George came up with a pretty smart idea, huh? You did this? <laughs> no, 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 no. You wouldn't upset the natural order of the wild, would you? Oh, natural order wasn't so great. Way too much growling and screaming. But that's the way it's supposed to be. You know, Ape is upset for nothing. It's not like all animals are acting different. <gasps> More vegetable garden! Want some asparagus, brothers and sisters? Get him! Get him! <laughs> Nut spread really makes smoothies better. Have you all seen my almond style in jail? <laughs> That's weird. I could swear that leopard just ordered a vegetable smoothie. Sure. That's part of George's smart idea. George got all predators to eat vegetables and fruit. Oh, right, George. Can you imagine? But George is serious. Now they won't chase defenseless small animals. <laughs> it's the Hairs Angels! Run! Fuck your hawks, boys. <laughs> what are you looking at? Mm -hmm. Hey, Chuckles, you're sitting in my seat. Uh, sorry, let me dust it off for you. <laughs> Give it back. <laughs> uh, what's going on? Uh, we just sort of uh, taught the small animals a few self-defense techniques so the big guys would leave them alone. Her idea. Dance, fur ball. You trained the animals to do this? Whoops. Uh oh. The jungle has rules, and you turn the jungle into into crazy jungle. Oh, look who's talking. You made all the predators into a load of tea-sipping sissies. Crazy jungle. Hmm. George gonna have to put on thinking lips for this one. <laughs> uh, George wanted to get an opinion on what to plant in New Vegetable Garden. So, what should it be? Fish's prey? Wimpy predators? Any ideas? How about eggplants? <laughs> eggplants? Yeah. 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 Okay, then we'll go with predators meeting over. Whoa, 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 hang on. Why are we gonna go with what they say? Because they're bigger? No, we say carrots. <gasps> hey, predators, are you gonna let them boss you around? No. We are the main vegetable eaters around here now, so we suggest eggplants. Well, maybe we don't want you eating any more of our vegetables. Your vegetables? Your ve Your ve Here you go, little fella. Your vegetables? Why don't you just find something else to eat, huh? Uh, maybe I will. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> um, put up your dukes. Huh. <laughs> 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 Natural order makes me happy.
Where are you going? Georgia, to save little guys. <laughs> ah, giddy. It's just no pleasing that guy. Though the jungle is vast, our hero George hears every cry for help. Eventually. Warthog is in trouble. George must go on many zigzags to get there. Should have gone to the bathroom first. Dear Magnolia, I am borrowing your bike. P.S. I am George. P.P.S. Uh, up jungle. Maybe there's something happy on the last page. It's sad because it's just a story. I will never have that kind of friendship with a pony. I will never have a pony. <laughs> I used to ride around on my bike and pretend it was lightning. George will get Magnolia a pony to make up for the bike. <laughs> oh, my stars, really? Oh, thank you, George. Oh, I'm gonna go and read my book again away from my pony to get here. Okay, quick question. What's a pony? Okay, look for an animal that has four legs and a tail and a mane and... Oh, and wings? And a curly horn and smells like cotton candy? Uh, no, George. Sorry, fella. Not today. How's that? That's my lightning! A zebra? <laughs> and they won a trophy of gold. Wouldn't it be great to enter a horse show just like in the book? Elizabeth and Lightning did it! You're not doing it right! In the book, Elsie Beth's friends don't believe in her dreams and she has to run away! Oh. No, oh, you, you'd terrible. never succeed. Yeah, no, George thinks you no. failed. You never support my dreams! Lightning and I will show you all! So you come in a while. And so, Magnolia and Lightning travel far. Very far. Extremely far. Uh, farther than any far away point on the farthest map. Look. It's really them. Hi, I'm Magnolia. 
Our ponies have the same name and everything. <laughs> First up in the Kentering event, Elizabeth and Lightning. I present you with the actually interesting prize. Every year we sit politely through these boring shows. But this year, you gave us some real showmanship. Maggie, this is just like in your book. I read the last page. George doesn't get it. It's just like the end of my book. After Elsie Beth's horse flakes, she finds a magically perfect poodle. Oh, he's so cute. Oh, don't take it too hard. Last week she dumped me for a kitty. Come on, 
I will buy you some oats. Ooh, we're gonna run away and win the dog show. I'll be back. The responsibilities of the Jungle King are many. Help! And George, being a good king of the jungle, never rests. Ah, <sighs> time to relax with the new Mantler comic book. <sighs> George? George? <laughs> I hate to be a bother, but remember when you said you'd mow our roof? <laughs> I'll do it! <laughs> I thought you already raked up these coconuts. Oh, I was... busy? <laughs> George, isn't it your turn to be the scarecrow in our cornfield today? This is not a good look for me! Yeah, and I thought you said you were gonna wash all the sticky off the vines. Uh, but, but I... Come on, you guys. Let's go do something incredibly fun. See you when you finish your chores, George. Oh. oh wait. Oh, chores. <laughs> you get a meddler. <gasps> That's using your head. Oh, make it rain with your own rain totem. Only 25 cents. <gasps> hey, then George won't have to do chores. Rain totem! George is gonna make it rain. To make it rain. One, set totem on ground. Two, ask totem for rain. Oh, man, why did they have to make it so complicated? <clears throat> oh, great rain spirit, whose sacred name is... Uh, Chuck? Chuck? Uh, <clears throat> Chuck! Uh, make it rain! What? What is it? Gosh! Oh, uh, oh, hi. I'm looking for Chuck, the, uh, the rain spirit. You got him. Oh. Great and mighty, Chuck. Make it rain! Did you ever hear the magic word? No. Oh, I I've heard the witch doctor say, Earth, rain, rain, is here, rain, 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 uh, is that what you mean? Whatever! Here! <laughs> You're welcome! Gee! <laughs> oh, Mantler, you're the funniest man with antlers ever! <laughs> Yet, so brave. <laughs> This rain is so not fair. Yeah! Uh, yeah! I sure do wish this rain would stop so I could do more chores. We were gonna take you on a trip to Mount Way up there to go grass skiing. Grass skiing? Oh, I love grass skiing! And then we were gonna go have dinner at the pile of nine. The all dessert restaurant? Sorry, George. Oh, Chuck! 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 What? Jeez, I'm busy! Yeah, uh, listen, I was just thinking, could you maybe make it stop raining, please? Give me one good reason why I should. Oh, well, see, my friends wanted to take me grass skiing and, uh... Grass skiing? I love grass skiing! Can I come? Can I come? I'll be your best friend! Oh, well, Ape is already best friend. Please! Well, what do we tell my friends? That you summon the rain spirit to get out of doing your chores? Yeah, I didn't know. How about you're my new friend Chuck from... Detroit. Your new best friend? <laughs> Let's go! Come on! New best friend. Oh, yeah. It's, it's, it's the best. It's great. There's really no nice nice best friend. Yeah. And grass day. George, we can take you on the surprise trip now. Yeah, let's go! Hi. 
Hiya, Red. How's that donut diet working out, Slim? Psych! Oh, that never gets old! Uh, who's that? He's just some guy I know. Name Chuck. Well, that's cleared up. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> So, how about that Chuck, huh? Yeah, he's something all right. Yeah, heck of a guy. So, who's up for ditching him? No, oh, wait! Maybe he's just nervous. Look at him. Mine, give me that more my mine, not yours, mine, 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 mine. You take no asking me to share. Hey, George, this is the best, right? Where'd everybody go? Oh, uh, they had to leave. Yeah, uh, emergency. No, yes, nap time. They had emergency naps to take. <laughs> what does that mean? You think it was my fault they were always in my way? Uh, it, it was kind of your fault you were, you know. What? I thought I was your new friend. You gonna take the side of your old friends? Well... No, no, don't try to win me back now, okay? I know when I'm not wanted. You and your friends are all a bunch of phony baloney. I'm taking my pie-filled cake and my cake-filled pie, and I'm out of here. You. I heard that! Remember, I'm a nature spirit, which reminds me, I'm taking my reign back now! that the water around here's been a little dry lately. I've noticed. Come on, water. Come on, water. Ah, ha. Come on, one more, one more. It's like the whole jungle's gone dry. Hmm. It doesn't make sense. Mm. This is supposed to be the rainy season. Uh, <laughs> yep, <laughs> pretty dry. Well, I better go to another dance for that bratty rain spirit, Chuck. Wait, Chuck? The rain spirit? <laughs> the one George brought along on our trip? The one we all ditched? Yeah, the one who thinks you guys are all a bunch of phony baloney. George! Well, there's no way Chuck's gonna help us now. George will get water for everybody. Don't worry about a thing. Chuck! I'm sorry! Well, well, well! If it isn't Mr. I don't need a rain spirit. Hey, we're all real sorry for what happened. Maybe in a few years, when you become, you know, likable, we could all hang out. Gee, you're all so sincere. I feel like a fool. If only I could make it up to you. Oh, well, uh, you could make it rain. <laughs> yeah, I guess I could. Yeah. Hmm, it's raining big, shiny hailstones. Or that's a bowling ball. <laughs> you didn't say what you wanted it to rain. <laughs> <laughs> Should be safe here. Maybe I'll make a rain cheese dip next, huh? <laughs> Charles T. Rain Spirit, you get over here right now. Uh oh. Where'd you put my bowling ball? Uh -huh. I was just playing. You got chores to do. I'm a rain spirit, not a. Your spirit! Charles, to your cloud right now! Don't make me come after you! 
Oh, witch doctor, you're still gonna take me dancing, right? <laughs> you know it, Mother Nature. Go. <laughs> oh, first, George has to rake up these coconuts. No! And bowling balls. <laughs> to live in the jungle, you must be cunning. <laughs> <laughs> Very, very smart. Or not. Have you noticed that Tukey has been acting strangely lately? Uh huh. Tukey, <laughs> Tukey. Hmm. It's simple. Your Tukey bird is full of evil spirits. Luckily for you, I just had my evil spirits horn tuned up. <laughs> Ah, George, Tuki Tuki Bird is suffering from a complex gastrointestinal bloating disorder. Aha! Uh -huh. uh -huh. He has gas. Evil spirits! Gas! <laughs> Evil spirits! Gas! <laughs> 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 No, we're curing Tookie of evil gas spirits. Uh, boys, there's nothing wrong with Tuki Tuki. He's in love. With her. Ooh, ooh. Huh? What do you mean? Huh? Yeah. 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 <laughs> you mean little Tookie? <laughs> Is in love. Okay. <laughs> Who could ever fall in love with a girl? <laughs> George doesn't get it. I'm already your pal. What do you need a girl for? <laughs> This new girl thing is gonna wreck our whole guy, ape, bird, two girls, and elephant thing. It's love, George. And it makes people do the most wonderful things, like getting makeovers. Ha! Tookie doesn't want a haircut. That's so funny, George will laugh right now. Ha! Ha ha ha! Ha 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 ha! Eh. Tookie? You, you need to give her something to remember you by. Uh, something a girl would really like. Uh, a fluffy kitten that never grows big, and its pink nose doubles as a pot lip gloss. I was thinking more like a worm. Give her this. George of the jungle, I'm surprised at you. <laughs> You're Tukey's best friend. Why aren't you being helpful? Yeah. Everybody act normal. I found out that it's the natural behavior of the oo-oo bird to select her mate based on who builds the strongest nest. So if Tukey builds a strong nest, 
He's got a chance with her? Right. Hey, uh, whose side is Ape on? Well, I'm on the side of nature, and in nature, you just have to go with whatever happens naturally. Okay, Tookie. Big nest, okay? See? You build. Ah! Tookie, Tookie! Ah! Uh, help? trial nest. Why, he's building the biggest nest this jungle's ever seen. George, I'm really proud of you. I love it! Once George had a plan, it was easy. Right, Ape? And Ape? Close the glass door! <laughs> Be in the tree. <laughs> Ready, everyone? Ready up here. <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> silly me. George, no! <gasps> Yeah, that's, uh, that's, that, that's good there. George saw two coconuts sitting together on the ground ones. They looked happy. George, I'm talking about real love. Look at Tookie Tookie. He is so happy, so in love, so blissful, so... <laughs> Leaving? Tookie, what's wrong? Why is Tookie hiding? Tookie wants a girlfriend, right? To wreck all our good times, right? Tookie, Tookie! George doesn't get it. George, it turns out that whoever the oo bird chooses for a mate, the other oo birds attack it to see if it can defend itself. Hmm. George! Uh-oh. No. Uh-oh. Ooh-ooh! Oh, uh-oh, ooh-ooh, yeah. <laughs>
just wanted to tell you what a sweet thing you did. Okay, okay. <laughs> Close the garage door! 